Okay, so this time we're going to be recording uh, some demonstrations of uh, solving for acceleration. So instead of a triangle this time, I've given you the entire formula. So acceleration is equal to velocity final minus velocity initial over time. So remember that we put the final velocity before the initial velocity in this, pro in this problem. All right, so a uh, motorcycle accelerates from zero to 32 meters per second in six seconds. What is the motorcycle's acceleration? So we're gonna draw a really simple motorcycle if we can. Um, I think that is it. It doesn't say there's anyone driving this motorcycle, so we're not gonna draw a person. <laughs> uh, it is, starts off at zero meters per second and it finishes at 32 meters per second and it accomplishes this, accomplishes this in six seconds. So my velocity final is 32 meters per second. My velocity initial is zero meters per second. And the time it takes is six seconds. And we're solving for acceleration. So our formula is gonna be acceleration is equal to velocity final minus velocity initial over time. And I'm gonna plug in my variables. So my final velocity is 32 meters per second minus my initial velocity, which is zero meters per second over six seconds. So if I do my subtraction first, I have 32 meters per second minus zero is just gonna give me 32 meters per second. My units stay the same because I'm not multiplying or dividing anything, I'm just subtracting, so it stays the same and my six seconds stays on the bottom. So technically this meters per second is a fraction. So my seconds would actually end up down here, which means I'm gonna do my math and I'm gonna divide 32 by six. If I plug that in my calculator, remember we go from the top to the bottom, 32 divided by six, we read going down. 32 divided by six gives me 5.33 repeating meters per, and since it's seconds times seconds, it's gonna be seconds squared, which is the proper uh, unit for acceleration. So that is my final answer. All right, let's try another one. So I have a sea star moving slowly across the, the sea floor at a velocity of 0 0.34 meters per second. When its photoreceptors detect the shadow of an otter, it slows down to 0 0.08 meters per second. It takes seven seconds for the snail to slow down. Oh, sorry, C star. What is its acceleration? Okay, so let's uh, draw our diagram. We have our happy little, <laughs> not so well drawn C star. You can tell it does not matter if you're not a good drawer. And it starts off at 0 0.34 meters per second and finishes at 0 0.08 meters per second. And it, takes seven seconds. All right, so my velocity final is 0 0.08 meters per second. My velocity initial is 0 0.34 meters per second. And this is part of why it helps to draw it out. So you can really see this is my final velocity. This is my initial velocity. And time is seven seconds solving for acceleration. So since we're solving for the acceleration, we're just gonna write the formula as is velocity final minus velocity initial over time. Now I plug in my variables and their units. So velocity final minus velocity initial over time. Now I can start to do the math. So I'm gonna take 0 0.8, subtract 0 0.34. So when I do the math, I get a negative 0 0.26 meters per second because my unit doesn't change when I add or subtract over seven seconds. And when I divide 0 0.26 by seven, I get negative 0. 0, 0.037 meters per second squared. Again, this little seconds would be down here and seconds times seconds is seconds squared. 
And this would be my final answer. And then when the acceleration comes out to a negative number, that means that the object is slowing down. And that is it. So now you should give a few of these a try on your own.